We're going to go now to political analyst uh, Larry Sabato, who is in Virginia, which will, at the University of Virginia, that's one of the Super Tuesday states. But uh, Larry, what do you make of what you're seeing in Michigan? It's very likely that Romney's going to win, and he'll uh, not only carry the popular vote, he'll probably carry a majority of the delegates, though a small majority. Uh, this is a state that uh, is going to split its uh, delegate votes between Romney and Santorum. Yeah, so is a win a win in Michigan? Uh, if he wins by a few percentage points, does that count as a win and he can declare victory and move on? Or has something happened here in the last couple of weeks that uh, uh, puts a profound cloud over his chances of, of, if not winning the nomination, winning the election in November? Well, I wouldn't say it's happened in the last couple of weeks. It's happened the whole season. Uh, Romney is having serious problems selling himself to Republican audiences. And let's be honest, uh, a couple months ago, three months ago, if you had told me that Mitt Romney would win his native state of Michigan by two or three points, I would have said, my God, he's on his way to losing. Now it looks different because, of course, it's been extremely competitive uh, and he could very well have lost. I mean, you can hear the sigh of relief all the way where I'm sitting in Virginia coming out of the Romney headquarters up in Michigan. And, and how would you define the problem he's having? What is it that he's missing? What's going wrong here? Well, there are two problems. One is that he is neither trusted nor liked by a lot of the Republican base. Some of them believe he's simply too liberal. Uh, others believe that he's changed his positions too many times. Some, and I hate to say this, but it's true based on personal contacts I've had, emails I've gotten, there are people who will not vote for him because he's a Mormon. Uh, that's part of it. And the other part of it is Romney has just not been on his game. He hasn't been connecting with people, and he's been a gaffe machine. And, you know, that's not the Mitt Romney that I associated with 2008 or his uh, successful win for governor in 2002. So you don't, you, don't, you don't think it's some I inherent inability to connect? You think he's just off his game? Well, that's what I said. I said it. he's having a hard time connecting. Um, I have to judge by what I saw when he ran for governor in 2002, what he, ran, what he uh, looked like when he ran for senator against Ted Kennedy in 1994, uh, even when he ran for president the first time. I think he connected much better than he has this year. Do you, you have any theories on what the problem is? <laughs> well, uh, it may be that he can. He was so close at one point to the White House, he could taste it. You know, that tends to make people nervous. Uh, it tends to make them overly cautious. Uh, he has been very cautious. Uh, many people have criticized him for not really saying anything other than um, if I replace Obama, I'll fix the economy. Well, you know, one would assume any Republican would say that. But, you know, so there if, hasn't yeah. been a lot to chew on from his campaign. Yeah, Larry, if what you say is true, I mean, look, it's, it's the end of February. It's a long time until November. Plenty of opportunities for Mitt Romney to show a different side to himself. If what you say is true, and, and if you've seen a spark in previous campaigns, then it's certainly possible that he can, quote, connect, he reconnect, do whatever he needs to do if that's, if, if that's the basic problem, right? I, I agree 100%. And I say all the time, it's February. The election is November 6th. A thousand things will happen that we can't even imagine right now. And yeah. people who've lived a long time and been through a lot of election cycles know that's true. And to the extent his problem right now is that he's not conservative enough for the Republican primary voters, that could actually become an advantage in the fall. Oh, it'll definitely be an advantage, assuming the Republican base sticks with him. And I think they will because of one thing, a guy named Obama. So they're really, the, the, what, the, the hope for Republicans is counting on Obama to, to, uh, to provide the motivation for their own voters. I think Obama holds them together, gets them energized, but also there has to be another element, and that is a, a truly bad economy. If people think the economy is improving pretty dramatically, it's almost impossible to beat an incumbent. Now, uh, Super Tuesday, uh, next Tuesday, Virginia, your state is, uh, is going to be voting. That's an easy win for Romney, isn't it? It's not just an easy win, it's a sweep.
Yeah. The way the Virginia delegates are allocated, we think here at, at our crystal ball operation that Romney will probably win every single one. And part of that is because Santorum and Gingrich aren't on the ballot, right? They aren't on the ballot. So, so Gingrich at least, Gingrich filed, but he didn't file enough signatures. Santorum never submitted one page of signatures, not one. He lives in Virginia. What is that a lack of organization, you think? Oh, yeah, you could say that, and poor planning. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that'll be a nice gift to uh, uh, Mitt Romney, a great state, Virginia. Let's take a look where we are with the results now. we got 30% of the precincts in, and the Romney lead is actually widening. We're now at 41.3% for Romney, 37.7% for Santorum, and then it falls off quickly. Ron Paul at 11.7 and Gingrich at 6.5. Do you think that's close to over? It's pretty close to over. Everybody that I know who knows Michigan politics has already told me that Romney will win it. Yeah. All right. Uh, Larry Sabato, thank you very much.